In this tutorial, we are going to talk about creating a simulation for your Fusion 360 design using SimLab Composer. This is an oscillating motion mechanism designed in Fusion 360. Under the SimLab section in Fusion 360, click on Link with SimLab to export your design to SimLab Composer. In SimLab Composer, click on the Simulation Workbench to access the simulation options. You can either choose the parts you need to simulate, or click Detect to automatically convert any objects to solid that can be simulated by the Physics Engine in SimLab Composer. Click on Links to start adding joints and connect the parts of the model. Notice that hovering over the objects with your pointer highlights them in red, indicating that they are solids and can be simulated. Go to the Simulation tab and click on Parameters. This will grant you access to several options related to the simulation. In the Gravity section, set the Z value to 0 since you wouldn't need the gravitational force in this example. Before we start adding joints, let us go through the mechanism of this design. This horizontal rod will rotate on its axis, forcing this arm to rotate as well. The arm then would transfer the motion to the clamp connected to the vertical rod. And because of the angle of the joints in the design, the vertical rod will rotate back and forth in a regular rhythm. Click on Revolute to create a rotating joint. In the panel to the left, for Solid 1, click on the blue globe. For Solid 2, click on the horizontal rod. Click on Enable Motor and set the speed to a constant of 5. Then click on the ring of the arm to determine the axis of the revolution. In this case, it will be the x-axis. Setting the ground as the first ground solid in this case means that we want the horizontal rod to generate the rotation by itself and not be influenced by the rotation of a different solid. Go to the Simulation tab and click Start to play the animation. The rod is rotating now, but it must in turn rotate the arm connected to it. Go to the Links tab and create a fixed joint. Select the first solid to be the rod, and the second solid to be the arm. The fixed joint simply connects two solids to each other, and unifies their motion. Create another fixed joint, and connect the small bolt to the arm. To connect the arm to the clamp, create a revolute joint. Set Solid 1 as the arm and Solid 2 as the clamp. Click on the upper rounded edge of the clamp to set the axis of rotation. To connect the clamp to the vertical rod via its base, Create a revolute joint and set Solid 1 to be the clamp, and Solid 2 to be the base. Click on the edge of the pin to set the axis of rotation for this joint. Create another revolute joint to connect the base to the vertical rod. Select the base as solid 1 and the vertical rod as solid 2, and then set the axis of rotation to vertical. Now all that is left is to constrain the movement of the vertical rod. Click on the main body part, and in the Solids Properties panel, 
click on the lock icon to prevent the main part from moving. Now, create a revolute joint and select the vertical rod as solid 1, and the main part as solid 2, and set the axis of motion to vertical. The last step is to connect the bolt to the base using a fixed joint. Set Solid 1 to be the bolt, and Solid 2 to be the base. Click Play to view the simulation. Now that the simulation is done, you have the option to turn it to an animation. Click on to animate and set the frames per second for your animation. 30 is usually an optimum choice. Go to the Animation tab and click Play to play the simulation as an animation. Converting the simulation to an animation would allow you to export your design along with the animation to PDF or on WebGL. SimLab Composer's simulation is very simple to use and can provide very accurate motion and objects interaction, using advanced mathematical and physical equations embedded within its engine.